start with your fighters tonight. Do you want to run through? Yeah, we had um, Fake Swell Siesta for getting Joseph Butler and George Lamport on this beautiful show at Bracknell Leisure Centre. Uh, Joseph made his debut at Lightweight. Um, it took eight weeks to get him from, you know, he boxed for me as an amateur and also Money Fields. Let's not forget them, they've done great work with him. But he's been with Guildford City for, for a while now. Um, and he made his pro debut. And I'm delighted. How long have you been training? Uh, probably three years now. Yeah. So he had a spell with me uh, from Money's Fields. Then he came to Guildford. He had a spell back because he lives at Portsmouth. And it was just a journey. Uh, and his uncle Joby and Colin and everybody else at Money Fields done a great job with him. But he's come back to me uh, at Guildford and the team. And now, like we decided, it's sort of crossroads of career. He went in the elite ABAs last year, done brilliant, boxed um, high class on the Southern Counties elite ABAs. But it was time for a change. He's only 19, but um, he's destined for the pro game. You know, uh, I don't know if he was there tonight, but he was class. So, so he's got through this one. So, what, what, what's it likelihood the next few? Months. Is he going, you're going to get some more well, Joseph, he's, he's only going to get three days out of gym. He'll be come back in to Guildford City on Wednesday um, because uh, you know box at six to one. But our, 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 my vision for him is to be in the super featherweight division. Um, he got movement, he got class, he got power. But I think if we can get him to eventually super feather, then um, that's that's where we want to sit him. Is he uh, promoted? Or was, was no, we, we, I just manage him. Yeah. He's not promoted yet, but. Um, so it's good to get him on the yeah. sister card. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's only 19, so Still he's got slick there. skills and you know, he's a little character. So. One to look out for. Oh, 100% he is, yeah. Um, and your second fight? It was, was George Lamport. Yeah. He was on his seventh fight tonight. A real live fight, real live opponent. George um, boxed well, but he's, it wasn't a George that we all know. It was something not quite right, not put me hand in it. And we fought over six rounds. He got a. Uh, his eyes swelled up and got a cut, but he dealt with that. He had a lot, lot you know, George is under the slime light. He's, he's ranked 23 in Britain at Super Well out of 123 division. He's only 20 years old, um, but he done us proud. And we got the draw, and I'm happy with the draw, you know. He had a real live, live opponent, not a journeyman, he come to him. What's his record, sorry? Uh, six, 6-0, and, oh, and uh, one draw tonight. So again, he's another one that you're going to Another, another one, though, and, and George has had three tough fights. Yeah. No journeyman. Yeah. His last fight here, big squash from Red and 8 0, a Mickey Elliott fighter. Uh, and we knocked him out in round five of Terry. When did George drop it? Was it round four or five? Not four, you know, that's why he's gone up the ranking quicks. But he, he, you know, tonight, he boxed well, but respect to the opponent as well. And, you know, the draw was a good result for both. How long have you been training him for? Three years. Yeah, he boxed at Turner's uh, and then also all the shot with his dad. And, um, Danny Brewer and Andy Young. So, yeah. um, I feel I didn't want to ask you. I left uh, last week. Before I'm just going to drop my side out. Absolutely. <laughs> I deserve it because it <laughs> stressed me out. Um, uh, Dave, last week. Um, oh, yeah, you was there. I, I, I was sure was, yeah. I've got the um, pre fight interview, but I wasn't there. Um, yeah, do you want to talk to me about, about that fight? Um, yeah, that was, I think, again, that was Rowan's seventh fight. Yeah. Uh, well, away. We had a tough journey, man, but he wouldn't open up. Um, we got the six rounds in and everything. You know, Rowan kept hitting at the wheel, and every time he opened up, I think the journeyman would, thought he was going to get knocked out. And you know, a bit frustrating, but, but Rowan kept to his game, and he's undefeated apart from one draw and seven. And the next day, he went out to Philadelphia with John Joe Nevin. Yeah. So I was happy with the six rounds he got in. And he's got his. When's he likely to be out next? Well. Uh, there's lots of noise about Rowan. Uh, there's lots of people talking about him. There's Matchroom, uh, the Warrens. There's also, you know, oh, we'll, we'll just see how oh, easy. But Rowan's, uh, Rowan's a real talent. Yeah. He got power, speed, and you know, he could go. Yeah, it's a nice interview we did uh, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, nice, good kid. Nice, yeah. yeah, he's got, you know, and could, could possibly box in Dubai in May. There's rumour of that as well. Because he lives in Dubai. He lived in Dubai for quite a while. Um, it's yeah, MTK actually show out there, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think it was MTK, but there's rumour, there's lots going on with Rowan, so... Again, we need to get another two or three fights, and then we challenge, we challenge some titles. He's Irish, yeah. so, you know, we can take, we're looking for the Irish title, that's what we want. Um, do you want to tell us about other fighters you've got in your gym that have fights coming up? 
Uh, we've got Naylor Ball, my heavyweight. Um, he's boxing on the 6th of April on the Mopar British Warriors show. And Greg Steen. Um, you know, that's a comeback fight. He lost to Skwalski. He's just uh, really beat really beat the Canadian, hasn't he? Brown. Australia, Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown. Yeah. Oh, we were there. You know, and, and uh, probably it was it was actually here that Naila started well, and, and you know, when he caught him, and I, you know, retired retired Naila, but he's only 21 again. It, it so you know, I, I probably underestimating him a little bit. Because that 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 probably is not what I'm saying, a journeyman, but he's he's tough. He's, he's he tough. Out from Nick Webb. He um, knocked on my Nick Webb. Yeah. yeah. We um, trained him with Scott Webb. And he um, he's had some hard. He's really, his record doesn't kind of do him justice. Don't do him justice, what a fighter, you know. And I believe he's a truck driver. Imagine if somebody got hold of him, invested in him, he could, he could be a real contender, couldn't he? He's like, the, for the fun of it, isn't Yeah, he? yeah, he gets, he's get making some money, isn't he? How is Nick, by the way? He's fine, he's just been sparring David Price this morning in Liverpool. Oh, okay. Uh, training flat out. We're going to get a nice little fight come back and then, then we want to challenge the big boys again. Yeah. Um, when we like to see Nick? Uh, probably. Probably mid-April, yeah. late April. That'd be good. Good to see him back again. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, and who else in your gym? We've got, we haven't missed anyone. No, we've got Ches Nyal. Yeah. He had a great debut on the um, Pox and Sport, didn't he? Yeah. On the Eubank yeah. and the Gale Undercard. What's brilliant there. Against another real-life fighter in uh, Kent. Done a lot of MA, MA fighting. And, yeah. But yeah, we're over for him. And, it, it, and Ches should be out in eight, uh, May. We're looking at May for him. Busy time. And we've got another eight or ten pros at Guildford yeah. that are coming through, you know. Yeah, we need to come up and do, do some Yeah, stuff. yeah, nice. yeah definitely. You've got, got a busy gym. So. Busy gym. We've got like 60 carded amateurs. That's yeah. all going on. Loads of pros, but, you know, we're family. You need to sign. need to sign. All right, listen, uh, is there anything else or do you want to... So, you know the David Price cash out of Where do you see that one on yours? I'll, f I'll see David Price winning that. You know, I don't... Yeah, I'll f see David Price winning that. Oh. Yeah, and how do you see that? I mean, if it works with his doubt? I don't think you could even stop that. You know, you know, it, look, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I like Price. I like him. And, you know, I don't think Ali can trouble him with his power. Anything else? Uh, George Lamb puts there. Do you want to have a talk to him? We've got a draw tonight. Can you get him in? Yeah. He's feeling a bit sick. He's yeah. Just do a quick interview, mate. He's feeling a bit. All right. All right. Here he is. Six and zero. Oh. Draw tonight. I'm happy with that. Johnny's just giving us a bit of a um, obviously summary of your fight. Uh, talk us in your in your own words. Fight tonight and how did it go? And I just wasn't there tonight. Wasn't at my best. Um, We've changed a lot of things, training in the gym, um, working on me being more correct. But um, I just didn't have my awkwardness tonight, and it showed. Um, I still, I thought I just nicked the fight personally. I thought I was doing a cleaner work, but it was so close that you know I, 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 I totally understand the draw. What do you think it was tonight that you said you were a little bit off? Um, I had a KF stupidly. I had a KFC before after I weighed in before four. I just made me bloated, and just the bloatedness never went away. As in the ring, bloated. I'm still bloated now, so yeah, it's not nice. Advice to any of your boxes stay away from KFC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, stupidly, the, the, the restaurant was full, so yeah. stupidly, I, I went second best. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have got a sandwich yeah, or something. Just lethargic and just yeah, it yeah. happens. But we learn, we learn every fight, and we learn every gym session. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously, we were just talking with Johnny, like right, um, this year, hopefully, you can get um, a few more yeah. learning fights, and at some point, maybe challenge for a title. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully at some point. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll take whatever comes. You know, I do as I told, not what I want. And uh, yeah, hopefully, this isn't a step back. Hopefully, no, we, you, we you learn. got a draw. You're still ranked 23 in the country out of 123 super welters. You know, you're, you're 20 years old, done unreal. So chin up, mate. Fighters do have yeah. these days, don't Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Sometimes you go to work and you're buzzing, and sometimes you can't get out of bed, can you? So, no. And he was in with a real live opponent tonight, yeah. and that's what we want for George. You know, he's not boxed any jerk. No, people's going to lay over. Have you? No. You know, he's a good fighter tonight, so. Right, well, listen, yeah. a bit tight, but do, do you want to shout out your social media so you can follow you? Yeah, yeah, follow me on um, Facebook, George Lamport. 
and Instagram team underscore fatboy uh, underscore enter the matrix. Uh, anything else you want to say? You any sponsors or anything like that? Yeah, it's shout out to all my sponsors. Um, they're brilliant and they sit by me even through this draw. So push forward next time. Cool. Right, thanks, thanks very much. much. Cheers. Mate. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.